Hi guys, this is Michelle Blakely of C. Jake and Jane Train, helping 1,000 business owners thrive. And today I'm gonna talk to you quickly about why you should not treat clients like family and why you should not train family unless you're treating them like clients. So I am prepared for the pushback I am gonna get on this one, okay? But hear me out. So the reason I don't want you to treat your clients like family is because it is a professional relationship, right? So you can care deeply about them, you can advocate for them, you can go above and beyond if you'd like, but you don't want to treat them like family because this is a professional relationship. They are paying for your services. And although everything might feel beautiful and like nothing could ever go wrong and that you have a fantastic relationship, but Michelle, you don't understand all of those things feel very true in the moment, they can very easily turn. And if you do care about and love them like family, then you do want to maintain that professional relationship, okay? Because that is really going to treat them with the utmost respect and the utmost care and the utmost level of professionalism, okay? So please, I implore you, do not treat your clients like family. Treat them like your most valued, fabulous, client because that's actually the best that you could do for them. Okay, why should you not treat your family or friends um, or train them without treating them like clients? Well, I've got a couple points on this one. One, it invites you to lower your standards, all right? And even though you're the consummate professional and I know you're doing an absolutely fabulous job as best you can at every turn, when someone isn't paying you for your services or isn't paying you in full or isn't going through the usual system that your business has, whether you're an independent practitioner or a studio owner, it's very easy for us to lower our standards as well, right? Maybe we don't have them sign a waiver. Maybe they're not in our uh, billing merchant processing system and they pay us cash. Maybe they pay us less. Maybe they don't follow the procedures at the gym that all of your other clients follow, right? So that can get a little slippery because then we feel like, well, they're not paying me full price. Maybe I'll go ahead and cancel. Or I'm working out with them in exchange for them getting my services. So I don't really realize that's gonna make an impression on all these other trainers that are watching me that don't know that's the case, right? Um, the other really big reason why you don't want to train family and friends without treating them like clients is because it doesn't send them the message that's true to your business, okay? A really big benefit of having our family and friends understand and know how great we are as a practitioner and the kind of work that we do as a practitioner is that they can help spread the word, right? They can tell other people about it. Well, if you're not charging them and showing them how fair and fabulous your billing system is, if you're not assessing and reassessing them, something you do with every single client you have, if you're not consistent in showing up for session, if you're not the consummate professional in session because they're a friend or a family, you're not really illustrating for them how great you are, okay? I have rarely seen these circumstances when not adhered to by professionalism standards go well, okay? Myself included, right? I trained a girlfriend and it ended up just sort of falling apart because we both got kind of lackadaisical because I wasn't treating it as though I was her professional trainer and she wasn't treating it as though I was her professional trainer, right? We were buddies working out. Well, then you know what? We should have just gone and worked out together. We shouldn't have kidded ourselves that I was actually, you know, training her, working out with her. That's a little bit tough to admit. Hurts a little bit. I can feel it, but it's true, okay? Learn from my mistakes. So please don't train uh, your friends and family without treating them like clients because another small detail I'm gonna throw in here, when you treat them as the professional that you are, you're actually protecting them more, right? When you have them sign your waivers, when they're falling underneath your insurance policy, God forbid they sprain their ankle or something goes wrong, you probably have a line item in that policy that could actually help them out and get them a little bit of funding for anything that God forbid happened. Um, and you also don't wanna treat 
your existing clients like family because they deserve those standards of professionalism and they deserve to be treated in that way at all times without you sort of falling into a gray area. Okay, if you have any questions anytime, please reach out. We are elated to hear from you. Info at cjakeandjanetrain.com. We'll talk soon. Thanks so much.